It's Sunday fun day. Welcome to another episode of the Casa Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about networking. We're going to dive into networking and get some insight into networking. What is networking? So grab a, a beverage of your choice and join us. I have the usual guest in the house today. I have uh, Efia Yeboah. Hey, why? Hey. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. And guys, you know we can't do this without a legend. Of course. <laughs> the man himself. Yeah. Welcome, Kwajo. Uh, Kwajo, welcome. Welcome, thank brother. You, thank you, brother. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I can't complain, man. Sunday, fun day, man. <laughs> I don't even have a cup of my favorite beverage, and I'm telling people to grab it. But... Yeah, I got mine. Yeah. I got mine right I here. know. I got my Guys, <laughs> how was your week, man? How was it? AY, how was your um, week? I think I had a good week because I was able to do my five day workout. <laughs> oh, five. Yes. Okay, I okay. Five I see you. Workout. You went ham. You went ham. Mm-hmm. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <But> yes. <laughs> yeah. It was good. That's how I say. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Kojo. Yes, sir. How are you, brother? How was your week, uh, man? I can't get in here. Huh? My week was, was all right. Uh, it, could, it could have been better, but hey, can't complain too much. Can't complain too much. Can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah. We're still here, man. Yep. So, guys, today we're talking about networking. Mm. What when, when we say, usually people say, oh, uh, I went to a networking event. I, I did this. I did that. I'm looking for a job. LinkedIn. Uh, you know, the whole... Nine yards, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what What is networking, and and what is it in in your view? What is networking? Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> do we, should I do <laughs> ladies first? <laughs> Ay or no, right. no, we don't we don't do that uh, here. We no, don't no, no. It, it's just it's just I, the courtesy, the respect, uh, the respect for our women, you know. So out of respect for our women, you know. Mm. Ay, what is what is? I'm gonna start with you. What is networking mm. in, your, in your view? What is that? Um, I, I think, well, networking, basically, we know it's like interacting with people, trying mm-hmm. to exchange knowledge, ideas, get to know people um, mm-hmm. in return for people to also help us. Mm-hmm. Often, that is the idea. But I think, I mean, most often we go in there, talk about ourselves, also want to listen to people and also see what they, can, they have for us and what we can do for them. Basically, that's why I think networking is about. So, is, is it is it a way of um, connecting with people? Basically, yes, yeah, connecting well, with people and sharing ideas. Would you say um, professionally, social setting? But you I know what? Know. Hold that thought. We're gonna we're gonna come. We're gonna. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it in. Right. Okay. Let me, let me okay. go to Kojo first. Kojo, <laughs> what is uh what is networking? Ah, networking. So I think it's right mm-hmm. there in the title. Um, mm-hmm. Building the contact book. To me, that, that's basically networking. Um, contact book. Yes. Uh, last week in our conversation, we said you have to leave college with a contact book and a degree. Yes, right? sir. Yep. Yep. Networking is the act of getting um, numbers and contacts in that contact list. Um, mm-hmm. uh, simply put, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> my cousin Vinny and any anybody who has seen any Italian, um, uh, I, I don't, Italian <laughs> yeah, movie, yeah, <laughs> movies, I, I know a guy. Networking is basically knowing knowing a guy or knowing someone who can do something, right? So you know, you know a guy that knows a guy. Absolutely. That was another guy. Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. Absolutely. So <laughs> if it's if it's getting new tires for your car, knowing uh-huh. someone. Who can get you the deal? Someone who can put you in a position and and mostly, especially out of college, right? Mm-hmm. Building that contact list, knowing people, getting enough friends, enough <laughs> friends in higher places. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> that that, that I like, basically like, is network. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> friends in higher places. <laughs> Amen to that. I want that. I, 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 so you, you guys know I'm team soft life, right? <laughs> I want that. Friends in high but, places. But Chrissy, Chrissy, mm-hmm. I, this mm-hmm. is something and I, I want to ask him, right? Yeah, what go ahead. Building 
building contact books. That's what a lot of people think, right? Mm -hmm. But I think there's a difference. Some people just want to have the contact for having contact sake. People have the contact, but they can't get people to do what they, they don't use it. Do. Mm -hmm. Not mm. use them. You know, there's this kind of networking where when you take the mm -hmm. phone and then you ask, it's like okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to it for immediately and then there's one that okay let me see what i can do you mm. know mm. Okay. I, I feel like there's a difference there mm. uh-huh so I, I guess i guess that's what we're going to be talking about right how yeah. you build that contact list right and so there, there are people in your life and in my life and we all have friends who would call us pick up the phone and ask us to do something it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what and the response is like okay Give me five minutes. And then there are people who are like, I'll see what I can do. Or I'll talk to someone. Um, there, there are different ways of populating your contact list and, and networking and what we're going to be talking about in the entire um, episode is going to get into that. But it's, it's all about what you bring to the table, who, who, who you become in your contact book. A lot of people think it's all yeah. about the names you put in and who you put in. It's who you become in that book. Okay, so... Uh, I, ha I have a question for you guys. Um, I like where mm -hmm. this is going. I have a question. Mm -hmm. From what AY is saying, that mm -hmm. you put, um, you have a contact list, right? Mm -hmm. So my question is, is it a skill? Or do you need a, is networking a skill? Or do you need a skill to be a good, net, like an effective networker? Is it is there some skills that, because, I mean, you can have two people, right? Mm -hmm. They have, they both know people, but one is actually taking advantage of mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. he or she has, right? And, mm -hmm. and climbing, and the other is not using it like mm -hmm. AY just said. So, um, mm -hmm. AY, and to both of you, is this, is this a skill? Is it, do we need mm -hmm. some skill set? Or can we say networking as a whole, it's a skill that you need? Or you need some skill to network? <laughs> what, what, what? Instead of... Okay, could you go? Instead I of think... calling it a skill, I, I, uh -huh. I, I think it's an art. It's, it's a bunch okay. of skills okay. put together. Okay, it is, okay. It's a carefully curated art. It's just like mm -hmm. a dance. Mm -hmm. Every bit of it, all the moving parts have to be perfected to come together, right? Mm -hmm. to, to be able to deliver networking. And I think we even have an episode on that, the art of connecting. Networking mm -hmm. is a bunch of different skills, charisma, charm, your, your communication, your yeah. delivery, yeah. your delivery, mm -hmm. delivering on like to be to be a good networker. Right. You have mm -hmm. to get yourself and get your skills perfected to that point where you almost become like a martial artist. Deliver on the things okay. you promise. I'm uh -huh. going to be here on Sunday and I'm going to punch you in the face. You have to be there on Sunday. <laughs> that, that is what networking becomes. You have okay. to be able to deliver okay. the things you promise. <laughs> Else you're not networking. You're just, you know, picking up. Um, wh what's this thing called? Um, you're, you're collecting what are these? Um, uh, the business cards. Business right? cards. A lot of people yeah, go about collecting yeah. business cards, but they are not networking. And there are people yeah. who are really networking. They might not even have business cards, but they're really networking. So it's not just okay. one skill. It's a bunch of skills that you have to hone and bring together <laughs> very um, neatly to be able <laughs> to get there. Yeah. To utilize it, right? Okay. If you, do you agree with what you're saying? What do you, what do you think? Do yeah, you think it's I... a skill or you need skill? setting skills together put them together network what, what i mean think? he said it, he put it well so perfectly right so mm -hmm. you could be a great communicator mm -hmm. but you you don't have a, the charm and the you know the charisma the charisma to move things about like it's it's a it's it's a lot of things that put together to make it work mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. again you are dealing with people and they don't just look at one thing they look at a lot of things they look at a lot of factors why like do what, I have to like do what, that? the way you look, the way you 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 sound, what you're saying, what is it? What you yeah, how, you say what you saying, like, mm -hmm. what you saying, how you say it, how <laughs> you look, why why they need to they need to even help, you know? Have you given them a reason to really want to help? You mm -hmm. don't also just go in with oh, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? You come in most often, right? The people weak. Well, I can't talk for everybody. The people I connect with are mostly people that are ahead of me, right? So mm -hmm. often it's like, I can't, there's nothing I can bring to the table, right? Aside me telling you, oh, uh -huh. well, let me just give an example. Yeah, if we, we, 
tell us a story. We lo- we love that. Let me tell you an example. So, uh-huh. I, if you're connecting with someone that is a bit ahead of you, let's say in career, professional, whatever, mm-hmm. most often you don't. He does, the person doesn't really need much from you. So for me, what I do oh. is I lay whatever I have on the table. So I ask you questions. What I need, I make you feel like, it's not like I make you feel, that's what I, is the thing. I actually need you to guide me through. So I tell you, look, this is when this and this are what I'm going through. Have you been through this mm-hmm. before? Can you share? You know, mm-hmm. and then when the person starts talking, the person is going to tell you, okay, this is how I did it. I did it this way. Mm-hmm. And so, okay, this is something you experience. This, this is what you're going through currently. Okay, you know what? We can do it this way, this way, and this way. Let me reach mm-hmm. out to of people and let's see if this will work mm. so it's more like not throwing a challenge it's more like you being open mm. and you making them feel like okay you've been through this before this is something you do so okay. trying to try to are you saying trying to learn it's, something it's, from it's, them it's not or? a one-time contact thing mm. it's yeah it, it's a relationship you have with people lifetime like just getting the person's number on your phone or uh-huh. just saying no you guys talk you guys communicate you guys share ideas mm-hmm. you know that is where it's easy for the person to be like when the question comes to why yeah. do i need to help this person but, but, but i have Frost. a question yeah Mr. Frost, you, go real, ahead. real quick i think ay did something and i don't want us to miss that she uh-huh. she stated the very first principle to networking okay uh-huh. yeah. know who you're connecting with you, you can't just go about meeting people. You have yeah, to get yeah, ready yeah. for the meeting. Uh-huh. And one of the ways to get ready, especially in a professional setting like she did, uh-huh. research them. Don't ever meet whoever you want to network that with. That was actually going to be my next question for you, you guys. How, how you do it. How you do it. Do it well. Like, and, and she mm. said something. You go to them with a question. It's always the mm. smartest way to connect with people. If yeah. someone has written 500 articles on a topic, Mm-hmm. Read at least a couple of them. Go there and ask pertinent questions. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. in this thing, you you encountered this problem. How did you overcome mm-hmm. this? How did you come up with this solution? How did that is a very good way to network, and and you can't do that without preparing. You can't mm-hmm. just stumble in front of Bill Gates and expect to network. Mm-hmm. You have to. So 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 you're supposed to say, um, oh, so I I read this 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 thing that you did. And um, it's very impressive, right? How 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 do you how how do you, how were you able to put it all together? Stuff like that. Is that is that what you're hinting at? It, that that is one of the corny ways to go about it. <laughs> <laughs> slipping in, yeah, slipping in a compliment is a corny way because the truth is, uh, most most people like that, and that's the key. Uh-huh. Depends on what level you want to network. Uh-huh. At the very high level, they always hear mm-hmm. people telling them how impressive, how amazing, and how awesome they are. Yeah, compliments yeah, won't yeah. get you anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Come direct and ask very intelligent questions, right? How you were able to develop this um, algorithm to tr- solve this problem mm-hmm. would have been very challenging. How long did it mm-hmm. take you? And what can I use that solution or that approach to do to solve this problem I'm going through? Yeah. Right there, they're not seeing themselves bigger than you. They're not seeing themselves smaller than you. They see you, you as someone who has something to offer, someone who is going through something, something they've offer. been through. Yeah. And yeah. then they would be able to help you. If you're going yeah. like, oh, there's a connection Gates, right there, right? You're so smart. You're the most intelligent person. Nah, nah, nah. That's just that's just booty licking, right? Yeah. That's not networking, that's booty licking. Okay. <laughs> okay. I get I get that. I get that. Yeah. Um, but if you're listening to us, uh it's Sunday, fun day. This is a Kaiser podcast. Mm. We we are we exploring networking, the word networking, what it means. Uh, we are trying to gain insight into it, how to do it. Uh, I have a fear here with Quajo, the legend, and and we, we we've talked about it. I asked the question: Is networking a skill, or you need skills mm-hmm. to to network? Kwajo and uh, both of them are guests, and if you says you need a skill, right, to do it. So if you're in the comment section, if you listen to us, uh, uh, drop, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think networking is. Is it a skill or you need skill to network? Let us um, let us know. But, guys, mm-hmm. uh, we, we talked about Kwajo brought us into how to do it, right, how to do it. Is it like a... Um, a more efficient or effective way of networking, if you are, what, what do you think? 
Yeah, I. I mean, we, we already talked about the bull licking, right? The, yeah, that's not... not <laughs> the corny. So, yeah, 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 the corny one. one. Is that... It's that, you know, it's that conversation mm-hmm. with people or, you know, it starts from somewhere and I think there's always an effective way to do it. Mm-hmm. People easily go with um, compliment type of thing. I think when it comes to the social aspect of it, like just, um, just networking or just, you know, meeting people for meeting sake or making friends then yeah you could go with a complimenting but when it has to do with professional settings you know really getting people to help you progress in your career or whatever Uh i don't think um complimenting as you just said it's a bit corny yeah (laughs) i think i i think i agree i uh i agree with you guys on that one i do i do i do yeah 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 i do agree but guys okay so um let let me read let me read some some comment uh rashid what's up my man rashid is here rashid said he's a little late but he's here we are glad and we are happy that you're here the big man himself um, Rashid also say ask the intelligent questions, the ones that will tickle your brains. Oh, mm. tickle. Okay, okay. <laughs> tickle your brains. Oh, that that word tickle. Okay, tickle your brains and get them talking. Okay, you've got, you've got to keep them titillated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Uh, Bella, yeah. You if you you have some. Titillate. Me. Oh, you can go ahead. Can oh, go ahead. Um, Bella J. Bella J is here. Welcome, Bella. Um, Bella says some people have a natural charm with all the others, right? But it's a skill that can be learned. Um, yeah, some people have that. I think that's what we talked previously about having the charisma, right? You you walk into a room, shoulders up, you look people in the eye, people, mm. you know. Mm. So I think I agree that that, that that um I agree with that. Rashid said. That's a good question. Is networking a skill? Do you need a skill to network? Mm. Hmm. Rashid, I asked you the question. You were supposed to answer, man. <laughs> and now you're there, honey. You're asking me the same question. <laughs> but I think he's saying it's a good question, right? Yeah. I, I think I, I I agree. I like I said, I don't think networking itself is a skill. I think you need a it, it it's the a set product of, of a tool, set to, yeah, like a toolbox, I, right? Yeah. You need a bunch of skills in the toolbox that exactly. you walk around so with. So I think right? of networking so as any any art artist artisan job, right? Like carpentry, mm-hmm. you need a toolbox to carry out your carpentry, your network. Yep, and yep, in that yep, toolkit, yep. you need mm-hmm. good communication. And um, we mm-hmm. talked about preparing, right? You have to mm-hmm. always prepare, always be prepared to network. Okay. Don't go into uh, that. The, there's cold network, and that doesn't get people a, a, mm-hmm. a lot farther. But you, you should always go networking hot. And going hot is doing your research, preparing ahead of time, knowing yeah. the questions, even preparing your jokes ahead of time. If I know I'm going to meet Barack Obama, I have some jokes that are going to be prepared. And I know how I'm going to deliver it. And I know just how... It, it's no like, political like, you, no you, you, political you, jokes, man. You, no. No, you, yeah, you, oh, don't, don't, go in there, you don't go in the cold and hope uh-huh. that something happens. You always go in hot. And going in hot uh-huh. is preparing. So preparing is one. Communication uh-huh. is one. Charm is another, and another mm-hmm. one that probably we may talk on about a little later mm-hmm. is how you present yourself, how you look. Okay, and, and it's for both the professional and the and the social. Okay, you can't look shabby and build good contact. I'm telling okay. you. Okay, then then I have a question. Now, let's mm-hmm. go there. Mm-hmm. How let's do you prepare? <laughs> Yeah, let's go there. How do you okay. pray? So it depends. Okay. If, you, if you're going to a business meeting, if you're going mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. a business, um, you know, you're going to go play with the high rollers mm-hmm. and you're going to show up in your jeans and your crumpled t-shirt <laughs> and, and your blazer that's torn and a loafer that's out of like two sizes smaller or two sizes bigger. You're not <laughs> going to meet anyone. And, and, and yeah. it's one so, of those things, even in business school, we'll tell you when you're going to go market, when you're going mm-hmm. to go market and bring in investors, you mm-hmm. have to look like a million bucks. You mm-hmm. don't have to look like you're going to use my money. Perception to is people. reality. Absolutely. Right. And, and mm-hmm. if you're going to roll with politicians, you can't come in wearing your purple suit, looking all like a penguin. Nobody is going to network. You oh, have goodness. to learn to dress the part. <laughs> hey, hey, you, man. <laughs> he said I, look like you, a penguin. Th- that's okay. a good thing. Th- and, Dry and, clean and, the blazer, guys. Dry, I just said, dry clean your blazer. 
And wear yeah. loafer that's your size. Absolutely. Wear pants that are your size. Do not put on a purple suit or blazer, yeah. okay? Because yeah. yeah. in Kujo's words, you're going to look like a penguin. penguin. Guys, don't do that. Think, think about it. Don't, well, don't ha- do have that. we seen the Joker? Yeah, we've, we've all seen the Joker. Absolutely. You don't hide a Joker, like right? Yeah. You're not going <laughs> to look like the Joker. And, 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 and it's key. It's key. Um, yeah. th- there's a saying that you are dressed how you dressed, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's key. Mm-hmm. People can only take you as seriously as you present yourself, as seriously as you look. If you mm-hmm. come in looking like James Bond, and you mm-hmm. promise someone I'm going to punch you in the face. They think you can punch them in the face. Okay. If you come here looking like a clown and you, you're coming to promise people, oh, I can deliver on this. I can build this software. I can build this thing. Nobody's going to take you serious. So please know where you're going to be. Know your audience. And don't dress too colorfully. Don't go overboard. But mm-hmm. always dress one or two nudges above what is required. It's, it's important. Dress if if you know it's going to be a seven event. Dress at mm-hmm. least a seven, eight, or nine, right? Don't go okay. at fifteen. Don't dial it way too high, right? That you go to a nursery student's graduation with your um university gown. No, that, that's not. <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's, no, that's overkill. overkill, huh? Yeah, don't overkill it, but please don't undersell yourself because the truth is, people watch. We have very little to go off of, especially mm-hmm. when we don't know you. So yeah. people have come up with heuristics. And mm-hmm. one of it is how people present themselves, how you look. If you're wearing shoes that are open and you tell me, listen, I can land you a $1.5 million deal, I'm not going to mm-hmm. believe you. Right? And and uh, wait, that's the thing, right? Because um, they say as humans, I don't know how mm-hmm. true it. I read it somewhere. Mm-hmm. I forgot, mm-hmm. but I'll find it. As humans, they say we, we tend to judge people the first, what, 15 seconds we meet them, right? Yeah, I think I've read that too. Right, yeah. Yeah. so that 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 I, I I agree, but but if yeah, how do we how do we do it? How do we how do we do it? Hmm. I mean, for the stats, you guys have laid it perfectly. Mm-hmm. How you look mm-hmm. that for I if you know me, you know I'm really big on looks. Like okay, but, okay, yeah, fancy it's, it's, you fancy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but. <laughs> Just just look nice. I mean, yeah. you look like someone that people can approach. Someone people want to that be around? Be around. Look and smell good. It doesn't cost... Well, it does oh, cost smell. So That's a new... Okay, okay, okay. That's yeah. important. Okay, yeah. smell, I mean, smell. I'm going to say okay. it doesn't cost much, but in, it might cost a little. Just, you know, do it. So after you get that out of the way, looking mm-hmm. good, know what you're about, how you talk. Mm-hmm. read a room know the person you're going to talk about he said research mm-hmm. about the person sometimes you don't mm-hmm. even know who you're going to meet but you know when you have an idea of where you're going you know you yeah. know what a the theme is about you know how to start talking how to start a conversation i think we have um an episode on <laughs> how to start a conversation you know depending yeah, on where yeah, you yeah, are yeah, yeah. We, you know we, we and then about that. Yeah. be it professional or social right you yeah. know where to start from Maybe this is somebody that you're looking, this is the MD of a company you're trying to apply to, or this is, you know, those certain things you know about the person. Okay, now how do I sell myself here? Mm. Because this is the person I, I want to get a job with this person. You don't just go like, I want, I need a job. <laughs> no, you know, okay. you start talking about the field you're in, you start talking about what you're doing. You guys have conversation about probably the problems you guys face in the field. You know, talk about what you're looking to do. Like, yeah, for me, I feel like networking is it's a process. Like, it's not a one-time thing. You meet someone, take the person's contact, and then that's it. You know, I realized this a while, that networking, now people, a lot of people think, oh, I have this person's contact. I have mm-hmm. that person's contact. But then can when you it use gets it? to, can you use it? Can the person actually do it? Are you in a position with, are you in a kind of relationship with, in the, with a person that? When you call, the person is like, Mm -hmm. let me get it done for you. You know, Mm -hmm. I feel like you don't just do and go. You build a relationship with the person. You talk to the person. Not always. I mean, they don't always have time. But when you guys talk, you talk about, you know, important things. Then if you reach out to the person like, oh, I'm facing this problem. Like, okay, what is it? Let's talk about it. The person is going to make time for Mm -hmm. you. The person is really want, the person really wants to, you know, help. So I just want people to know networking is not, just getting the contact and or the getting the email address mm. and then that is not networking at all. Okay, all right, yeah. guys, 
So let's um, let, let, let I have another one. Okay. Hmm. Career hmm. development, career hmm. success, and work, networking. What is the correlation to you, Kojo? Where um, is it? Just, just let's dive. If you have any personal um, experience with that, uh, you can then, if you're willing to share, I, I want to know the correlation between okay. career the, development, the, success, and networking. The, the correlation, they, they're uh -huh. positively oh. correlated. They, they, okay. they track uh -huh. your, your success in your career or any given mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm tracks with your ability to network the more you can network the more successful you can mm. become mm. and okay. it it it's very interesting that especially on this side of the world in the west mm. right mm -hmm. your ability to network is more important than your your, your real abilities the things you can actually do <laughs> the okay. things you can okay. tell people you can do and uh -huh. deliver on is more important than the things you actually have done and uh -huh. so a lot of people are in labs somewhere doing mind breaking like back breaking stuff and i'll mm -hmm. give you a good example we all know tesla Tesla, yep. at the end of his career, had done so many things. He, he had mm -hmm. actually done the work. But people like Edison and all the people who employed in Western House and all those people were making the money. Mm -hmm. Those people could network. Those people can go to JP Morgan and tell them, give me 500 million, I'm going to deliver you a DC or AC current uh, alternator. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I have realized this. And a lot of people, especially people who, are, who think it's all about your productivity is all about your job. Your job speaks for itself. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. Please don't get me wrong. At certain points, your job speaks for itself. But yeah. you should be the best advocate for your work. You should be able to go out there and tell mm. people why it matters. Sell yourself. Why it's important. And that is network. That, that you need networks, right? Okay. You need to build those things. So, yes, do be in the grind, be in the lab, be in the warehouse, mm -hmm. be in the gym, do whatever you need to do but also build that ability to go out there and market it, to go out there and sell it, to go out there and make it important. Because you could discover the cure for cancer, but if you can't mm -hmm. network, if you can't get yourself in the right rooms, if you can't get yourself before the right people, your good yeah. work would end up in the lab. And okay. so, yes, they try. Yeah. Your ability yeah. to network is crucial. In most um, um, endeavors, in most career fields, it's the only thing you have. Mm -hmm. I know for people in the hard sciences, like if you are in them, like mm -hmm. you can actually do stuff and sometimes your work would speak when you're not there. But in uh -huh. people in my field, people <laughs> only want to know what you've done by what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, 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 and yeah, so yeah, yeah, the loud yeah. mouths in the room and the people who are able to get themselves in the room and look the part and shake the mm -hmm. right hands, always get the right deals. And so, yeah, networking and career success, they work hand in hand and the people who are able to network and get in the right rooms, mm -hmm. and uh, they they end up being very successful in their fields. So so um, what, what what you're saying is they go hand in hand, right? Mm -hmm. With your career development and your networking, you network the better, the 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 more skills you 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 bring to networking mm -hmm. or you you yep. put towards networking helps in career development, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. if yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to you. Is there is there um what do you agree with Kojo or you don't think there's a correlation or oh, are they, definitely. they go hand in hand? <laughs> definitely, definitely. So mm -hmm. I'll use myself as an example, right? Uh -huh. Where I am now, where mm -hmm. I'm going next is all because mm -hmm. of the people I I know, the people I you said hi, the you said hi to the right person. <laughs> <laughs> Like, legit, legit. So where I'm going next, yeah. right? so I was at a conference. Uh -huh. And then we're at a table. It was like, you know, a social gathering sort of. And then we're having conversations and all that. And then this woman mm -hmm. goes, I didn't even know who she was. She goes, what do you want to do after graduation? I was like, I don't really know. I know I want to do my PhD, but for now, I just don't know what to do next. Because I, mm -hmm. I was just done presenting and I won an award. So we're talking about, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know what? CDC has this, this, that, 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 that. I think you should look oh. into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she told me. I think you should mm -hmm. look into it. And I was like, sure. Look, if I didn't talk to her, if you didn't even start the conversation, be there, you know, move on about how she was really interested in my work because at that time I told you I was done presenting my work. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, was, yeah. She wanted to know. So what CDC was actually doing was not so related but it was in line. So she was mm -hmm. like, look into it and let me know if you're really interested. I would never have 
thought of this. Like, That's I don't think fair, I would yeah. really see wherever that they hardly. I mean, I wouldn't mm-hmm. even think of going on CDC's website to really go and look for something to apply. I don't, for I don't know anybody that goes on that website <laughs> unless you're looking for some info I, on. Uh, I mean, what, what I not to know. whatever. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, these are things that I'll say that uh-huh. when when you're out there talking, mm-hmm. you know, you know, I don't know how to put it, um, selling yourself, no. not really mm-hmm. selling yourself, but you know, having conversations and bringing mm-hmm. in things. Say know, the right are, things. Say these these are the people that are going to bring your mind to certain things. It's people mm-hmm. that have information. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you can't you can't tell me you know everything everywhere, honestly. Again, I say it. Where well, I you somebody, can, you can, uh, you can know, right? But they don't know that you know, mm. right? And even if they do, if they do know, you know, mm-hmm. it's like you going into Put a, a little, yourself, sprinkle a little salt on it. It's like you going to a room by yourself and someone uh-huh. holding your your hand and taking you into the room. You know, it's like that's different. Things. That's mm-hmm. different. Yeah, they that's open different. the door. It, you know, so it, it, I, I guess it opened room. doors for you, right? It yep. does. Yeah, yep. open doors so, for you. Cause... So if you have the people around you that tell you, you know what, I'm gonna reach out to this person and then we're gonna see how it goes. Let, let's let's go this direction. Do this and let me know how it goes. Do it's because you're able to tell yourself, right? So you're yep. able to yep. tell them yep. this is what I want to do. And sometimes too, depending on the position you take, <laughs> it makes them sort of help you. So mm. At that moment, the position I took was I, you know, I'm really interested in this field, but I don't really know where. Exactly so, so bottom line, going. you had you're knocking on the door, and somebody had a key. They had to open you, right? Mm-hmm. Open the door for you, because mm-hmm. yeah, you can, you can, you can knock and knock and knock. That doesn't mean anybody's gonna. And we usually see that with um like online job applications, right? Oh boy, they, 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 oh. um, we know. That mm-hmm. they, they have algorithms that pick keywords, yep. right? Yep. So usually they'll tell you tailor your resume to the job you're applying to, right? But you could do that and you can still get rejected, mm-hmm. right? You sometimes you just submit application and within 10 minutes you get that auto generated mm-hmm. message mm-hmm. like, oh, you're so brilliant, blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. We're looking for somebody, what right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but then Sometimes you, you meet people and you don't even apply, they take your resume. Mm. So that would be what if yeah, you if I can relate to what you, <laughs> you I'm trying to relate to what you're saying, mm-hmm. right? They, they they go straight to HR and mm-hmm. they give a resume, HR recruiters call mm-hmm. you and you get interview, right? Yep. I've seen people that got interviews and got jobs and they never did the whole online application thing. Yep, the resume because they, they, I guess we can see the network with the right people or they knew the right people, or they had the right phone or contact list, mm-hmm. like Kojo would say, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I think, I think that's um, that that's and, that, that's great. Go ahead, Kojo, because yeah. and with the whole and AOI nailed it right on talking mm-hmm. to the right people in the right setting, right? And and we talked about applying to jobs online. One of these days, we might have to have a career fair on here because um, <laughs> I, I, I learned so many uh, things. The hard it's, way. it's in the works, it's it, in the works. It, 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 it was so funny, right? That there's been an opportunity. There's been a time where someone said, just give me your CV. And mm-hmm. we're going to do the job posting based on your CV. And so imagine mm-hmm. someone who sees the job posting online. Say so you go on LinkedIn and you see a job posting mm-hmm. and you're busily applying when that job posting has been tailored mm-hmm. to someone's CV. They already mm-hmm. have the job. And, and mm-hmm. in some countries, like in America, there's there's the obligation to advertise. They have to. Oh advertise. yeah, yeah, legal, legal yeah. stuff. It, it, the legal it's stuff. Just, it, they're just trying to cover their their, their behinds, right? And and this is why networking is important. Most mm-hmm. of the jobs you're sitting on LinkedIn, you're sitting online looking to apply. Someone's CV has been used to tailor the job. Uh, requirements, the things they're looking for. And so automatically they have that. And this is why networking becomes more important than even, you know, taking classes and excelling and being super good in school, Mm -hmm. right? Knowing the right people, talking to the right people, finding those people at your table. and, 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 And it's, it's really important to go out there and put yourself out. AY yeah. said something which is so key. And, and she she slightly slid past the most important part. She won the awards to get to the table. I know. She, I, oh, no, I was going to bring... I was going to bring... Uh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, I was, I was the in, table. You have to was, do your best. You, yeah, have to do, uh, you have to go through the yeah. grind and win those awards. But yeah. when you are there, 
When mm-hmm. you're at the table, don't be mum. Some people can sit at the table and there'll be Bill Gates, there'll be this person, there'll be that person, and they just sit there each and they leave. Mm-hmm. Talk to people and, and make it be a good conversationalist. Like it's key. It doesn't have to be give me a job. I don't yes. think AY went to talk to this young woman with this woman telling her, give me a job. Well, just, we don't know that. AY, did you did you do no. that? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's she's skilled. Listen, she's listened to she's listened to that episode on the Casa Podcast on networking. And if you haven't done that, this is how AY got her job. This is how I got my job. That's how Quizzy got her job. Go listen to all the Casa Podcast episodes, and maybe maybe you discover it. But it's oh, an yeah. art, and AY embodied the art. She was just sitting mm-hmm. there getting jobs at places where you know soon she'll be working with twenty five years. We'll be here. She, we'll be like, she she didn't even know job at places she didn't even know exist you, you or. See, you there was see, gonna be jobs and let, 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 but, let me let me let me do what AI did. I'm not going to go too much into detail with my but I got by networking over video games. Can you guys imagine? Oh interesting I'm playing video games with someone who is going to be eventually be one of my higher ups, probably mm-hmm. my boss for a few months. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're just playing video games and he's like, Have you looked at this? I'm like, No. And he opened my eye to a whole new field. And so, yeah, networking mm-hmm. goes beyond so many, you know, it can be anywhere. It can be on the soccer field. Mm-hmm. It can be. And, and this is why it is good to always hone those things. Practice with your friends. Mm-hmm. These are things. And, and, and this is why I say it goes beyond just some people think I have it or I don't have it. But I think mm. it's something mm. you, can, you can work on. You can build. You can like you can like learn. Charm, you can learn. For instance, okay. People think, oh, I just don't have charm. I I just wasn't born with a charm. No, 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 no. Mm. You can be a five foot two dynamite. Like you don't mm. have to have all those, you know, the beauty standards of the world. You can be mm. wherever mm. you want, and you can still mm-hmm. own that talent. You can mm-hmm. still be such an infectious character. You have to practice it at parties. Learn to make people feel comfortable. Learn to make Mm-hmm. I feel happy around you. Be the life of the party, and that's self um, self confidence. It, it is, is that, key. Is confidence saying? is key. Walking into a room with your head held mm-hmm. high, with your chest sure high, up, talking to people. <laughs> right? There, there are people who enter rooms, and I'm sorry, but they act like rats, and they hide in the corner trying to avoid the light. <laughs> and it's like that. You, there are people who who can attend every party and not be nobody sees they've been there. Mm-hmm. When it comes to networking especially yeah. professional networking mm-hmm. you can't do that thing where you're hiding in the corner you can't do okay. you can't afford to do that okay you okay. have to go into places and let people know you're there it could be a one liner it could be and this is where preparation comes into play like yep. Even with my students, right? Mm-hmm. When I go to class and I deliver a lecture mm-hmm. and then you know, we, we're just having fun and we're laughing and we're moving on. They don't know that the night before and the hour before I came to the class, I stood in front of the mirror and gave the entire lecture, including the jokes and the the pauses for applause. Mm-hmm. Wherever I'm going to pause for them to be like, mm, even all that, I practice. Okay, okay, practice okay, those okay, okay, yeah. You practice your jokes. Like sometimes... I tell AY this, I'm funny, but she doesn't give me enough credit. I, I, I promise, I'm very funny. AY, 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 no, AY, no, no, AY, no, no, AY uh, give him his, uh, no, give him his flowers now. Like, she doesn't okay. give me my roses. But the thing is, <laughs> give you give his flowers. joke with your friends, right? Uh-huh. If, if you think someone, something is funny, especially if it's very, you know, some jokes are very technical, you practice them. You don't just go try them the first time on stage, No. You practice. Oh no, you no, you gotta to practice. You it's to... like it's like prepping for an interview, right? Mm-hmm. You you look for sample mm-hmm. questions that you think they will ask, and then mm-hmm. you practice. You I nice. for me, I I I write things down, right? Mm-hmm. I will write a question mm-hmm. and then I'll write an answer. Like I will say it, recite it, and, mm-hmm. and whilst I'm reciting, I'm writing it down, I read over it, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound right. Take it out. Put this in. So I I, I do that. I do that. So I, I get it. I, I get it. But since since we 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 are talking about this, right? And uh Kukwa, Kukwa is in the house. Kukwa said it's given for some people and others like me. We have to learn because I'm an introvert. Okay. Mm. And Kukwa just brought me to my next question. I know we've hinted mm. about it a little bit. Mr. Song is here. Mm-hmm. Get it. Uh, Kukwa, what, what, and then I'm asking everybody in the comment section and Kwejo, AY, um, let's talk about style. Mm. 
okay, style. Mm. Everybody's style is different. Mm. AY is a Grammy winning, um, <laughs> award winning, Oscar, Grammy, BT. She wins awards. Okay, mm-hmm. guys. No. That's that style. Nice. AY. That's that style. AY. So you <laughs> cannot do what AY no. did. Okay, because she is she's a star. She walks in the room and she has awards, no, accolades now. to back it, right? She got everything. So, guys, if you're not AY, mm-hmm. you're not a superstar, you haven't won awards. Mm-hmm. What is your style? I want to hear mm-hmm. from Rashid, Kukwa, Song, everybody that's listening. If you listen to us right now, what is your style? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Networking let style. Me tell, let okay. me tell people my style. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's start with you. <laughs> my style is not grimy or no. So mm-hmm. I'd say um take up any opportunity to network and meet people. Like you know, when I was when I was in school. I used to like hate having to go to com not hate the conference itself, the fact that I have to put mm-hmm. together an abstract, put together a presentation, mm-hmm. rehearse, and then go and present. I used to hate it. But then it was it's now that I'm seeing, okay, putting myself in all those positions actually helped. Mm. You can't you can't meet people in your room. That is what basically I'm saying. If make being a professional, social, you no, know, go out. Mm-hmm. When you have the opportunity to, you know, have some drinks with people, and we're gonna it. talk about the social aspect of it after this. Yeah, so, do right. it, do it. Sometimes, you know, yeah, be like, ah, I don't want to do. It. Go dress up mm-hmm. and go. That's the only way. Like that's the first step to everything. Dress up and be there. Show up, and then every other thing we are talking about can start. Mm-hmm. So I like to go out. Not go out, but I like to, you know, that's my style. If it mm-hmm. requires me to put in a work, I'll do it. I'll just want to be there. Mm. I just have to be present. That's the first thing. Mm. Looking People like just, a million bucks. Yeah, I get mm. like, Nikki, I was like, oh, I'm an intro. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. Putting the extra effort to mm-hmm. be there, to be present. Mm-hmm. And the presence alone is not just showing up. But when you are there, be present mentally. Like, be there. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the moment and enjoy the people around you. Talk. And then, you know, it could, it could, it, that's where it starts from. Because sometimes people would actually get to the, um, you know, the place, the, the event, and then mm-hmm. they're not even there. Mm-hmm. Either what, they're do like mean, wait, what do you mean they're, they're not there? They're constantly on their phone. Oh, mentally, mentally, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not. There. Okay, okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, with a it. group of people, you guys are talking, mm-hmm. you're on your mm-hmm. phone. Yeah, you know, you're not, you're not really acknowledging the people around you mm-hmm. you're not trying to create conversation you're not trying to be present in the moment yeah like mm-hmm. doing something else that is not related or be no be present and present mm-hmm. like present in person mm-hmm. and present mentally mm-hmm. you know i know it's difficult for we the introvert mm-hmm. but yeah putting <laughs> the effort to do that you're not necessary. introvert please man. I am. the light the okay. lies we hear on the lies one. yeah i mean well, People that win awards and all that you've been on stages, big stages, and it all that. that we know we know who you are, AY. But Kojo, what 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 do you what what do you what what is this to have? You nailed right? something right on that I don't want us to miss. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of times, a lot of people miss good opportunities because of this thing. That's that's rubbish. We're not able to put this away. My rule, my first rule to important events is this should never be inside your phone should never be inside not mm. even when you're taking people's contacts i mm. promise you make it a rule don't ever mm-hmm. check your food if you're a gentleman drop mm-hmm. that phone in your jacket pocket and mm-hmm. don't ever take it out not even when you're taking a contact it, it's mm-hmm. a key trick like <laughs> mm. it would it would take your networking abilities mm. from zero to one mm-hmm. nothing 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 beats you walking away from a conversation mm-hmm. and the person you're networking with calls you back and says hey here's my number or let me get your number Mm-hmm. Giving your th- that is just surefire. You take your okay. you take their card and then you give them your number. Mm-hmm. It's key. It's very good socially. Even when you're like, I mean, it's I socially know. that's a Rico Suave move, though. I uh, I subscribe hey, to that. That's yeah, a Rico and, Suave and, and, move. And that, I was know that. I was gonna come hey. to, that was where uh-huh. I was going to come to. That was where I was going to come to. Nanika was asking that some people have to practice. I, I have this thing, and I think I can share with you guys. Find mm-hmm. anybody. 
find mm-hmm. one person, mm-hmm. a man, a woman, a, a movie character, a book character, pick someone. Uh-huh. Learn how they connect. Uh, mm-hmm. Be it Shelby, um, Shelby from um, um, what's his name? Vicky uh, Blinders. Vicky Blinders. Mm-hmm. Um, Harvey ha- ha- Specter from um, from Suits. Suits. There's so mm-hmm. many people who have certain things about them. Certain things, uh-huh. not everything about them. You can't go about threatening to kill people in Peaky No, no, take the good side, leave the bad for them, right? <laughs> Pick certain attributes about them, certain charm uh-huh. about them, and practice uh-huh. it till you become perfect. Then you put yourself in it. Whatever mm-hmm. you learn, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whatever you learn, okay. make sure there's a bit of you in it. It's the you that's going to save that move. If uh-huh. you walk into every party, Talking and acting like Harvey Specter, you're going to be look like a phony. Nobody's going to take you seriously. <laughs> Learn those key tricks. Learn the way they uh, act. Especially that one thing about networking, and, and we're going to talk about this. Networking requires you to give something. And this is why I bring, I bring up um, Shelby. Mm-hmm. Shelby always knows how to bring up what he wants mm-hmm. by delivering what you want. Mm, it, it, AY was saying that mm-hmm. when you meet people who have made it, says this will be mm-hmm. you don't often know what you're going to bring to the table. Mm-hmm. Sometimes what you bring to the table mm-hmm. is the opportunity for them to peep into the next generation. Listen, the people who have made it to the top of their game, right? Are uh-huh. always looking for that next thing. That's what they're mm-hmm. all looking for. Who is going to be the next thing? You offer yourself as that next thing. I am going to develop the next Microsoft. And this mm. is your opportunity to get in at the ground floor. And you have to be able to tell them that and market that with the mm-hmm. ideas you're presenting, with the questions you're asking. If yeah. you come to Bill Gates and you ask him questions that he faced when he was developing Microsoft, uh-huh. and you tell him how you're applying it to developing the next Microsoft, he knows it. They, they, you, you real recognize mm. us real. They're going to oh, see yeah. who is going to be. Fact, fact. And the ability for them to mentor you, the ability for them to mm-hmm. be a part in your story is so great for them than anything you can offer. Always have something you bring to the table. At the beginning, mm-hmm. I said, building your contact book, you should be something in the contact book. Remember I said, mm-hmm. oh, I know someone who can do this. I know someone who can do that. Mm-hmm. You should be someone who can do something. Else you, your contact book is useless. If mm. I'm going to call you as the, if I need a suit and I'm going to call Quincy, or if I need a shoe and I'm going to call AY, mm-hmm. they should have something they call me for. And most of mm-hmm. us, we're building contacts. We go in there with nothing to offer. We, we have value, 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 value. Sometimes right? your ability to present yourself as that mentee that can be molded, that can be uh-huh. shaped into the next big thing is what you offer them. Okay. Find a way. Thomas Shelby will make his problem your problem and it becomes our problem and people <laughs> okay. will solve it. That's okay. the only way. If you bring nothing to the table, if you have nothing to offer people, they will not connect. They will not want to help. They will not want to get you a job. Mm-hmm. But imagine if I saw or Bill Gates saw the next guy who is going to be the next best thing and can go somewhere and say in a TED Talk, I gave them their start. I have mm-hmm. faith in them when nobody saw. Mm-hmm. That is what you bring. That next story. That, so that bragging right. <laughs> it, it's important. You always yeah. have to give them something. You always have to give them something. And find a way. Find a mentor. Find a, a, mm-hmm. a mold. Find a, a, a mold you're molding yourself into. And bring yourself to it. Don't lose yourself becoming someone else. Don't mm-hmm. look at AY's video and everything AY does and become AY. No. Yeah, you cannot, guys. You n- not everybody can win awards. Win. Just just get yeah. that. Let's get yeah. it out of the way. So yeah. don't yeah. copy AY. And, and don't, don't copy AY. Beans. Don't cook beans yeah. like so. So I say sorry I'm late today. I was cooking beans. Um <laughs> I like beans, man. I like beans. But um Rashid said, I think networking is a combination of skills. Oh, that's when I asked the question. So you need skill to network. You could even use a 5W plus 1H framework. What, where, who, when, why, and how. Mm. Oh, mm. okay. Rashid mm. dropping uh, gems. Mm. Huh? Rashid again, he going deep. Okay, mm. okay, okay. But guys... We've, um, if you're listening, um, this is Sunday Funday Casa Podcast. We've been talking about networking. We, we've learned a lot. We've dived deep. We've had some insight that it's mm-hmm. not a skill. You need skills. So networking is like carpentry, as Quajo said. You need a toolbox, a, to- a toolbox, right? The tools are the skills to go network. If you, if you have anything to share 
hmm. any any past experience, networking, something you did that you succeeded, you can let us know in the comment section. Uh, song, thank God I have no pink suit. Ah, uh, what's that? Um, we, song, I'm not gonna do color discrimination, okay? <laughs> I know you and Kojo are all on that whole no purple, no pink, whatever. Hey, I'll, I'll hire you if you have a half pink, half purple. That's just no. me, right? I'm out for I'm out yeah, for girls president. I'm out for girls president. See, network is just womanizing. Your appearance, oh, icebreaker, no. making them one more of conversation is key. Okay. Okay. From yeah. that, right? I have a question. Mm. I'm gonna pick up that what he just said. That uh, what he said. No, it's just womanizing. Not that part, right? Appearance or the. If you're looking for a job, let's say Kofi Kwame is looking for a job or looking for a promotion, right? Mm -hmm. Kofi Kwame works for ABC Industries. Mm -hmm. He wants a promotion. Either mm -hmm. that, option A or option B, he wants a new job. Regardless, mm -hmm. he wants to move up, right? In, in the workplace, and this is a, this is a twin question, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to <laughs> nest it. Because we don't have much time. We have 10 minutes to go. So I'm going to miss this. In the workplace, how do you network to get your promotion? Mm -hmm. And then in social setting, you're looking for a job. When you go downtown to that bar, you go to Mardi Gras, you go to uh, whatever, happy hour. How, how do you do that in the workplace to move up? And how do you mm -hmm. do that when you're looking for that new job in a social setting? Mm. Right, you out in the bar with a bunch of millennials and Gen Zs grabbing a drink. St. Patrick's Day, uh, March 6th, Independence Day, you are to sue a bar, wherever you are, right? How do you do that in a social setting mm. versus how do you do that? Oh, I did the same, guys. Mm. Hmm. Well, so, are we going to do talk about it or you want to finish? With, I, I, I want with you, what do you, how would you do that? Ay, how would you do that in a social setting? You should go first. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's so, just go. So, you can go. Yeah. How do so you do this? It? Is this is an interesting one, right? Mm -hmm. and, and this is where you have to learn to speak success. Success is a language mm -hmm. a lot of people are not able to speak. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm mm -hmm. going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. If you really mm -hmm. want to get a job, if you want to get that promotion, your higher up speak success. Everybody who has made it in life knows how mm -hmm. to speak it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a difference between I used to work for MTN and I was a good worker at MTN and <laughs> I was able to re increase the okay. productivity of my unit by 18 mm -hmm. points in the first quarter after I was employed. That is speaking success. You're able to take whatever you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And quantify it. When people are able to yeah. see real yeah. value. Yeah. Yeah. Your, yep. your, your boss is not going to inter, uh, improve, uh, promote you when you come and say, mm -hmm. oh, you see that, you know, sales are going up since I got here. So I need an, a, a promotion. No. Mm -mm. Listen, mm -hmm. audit duration has reduced by three weeks when I uh, when I became head of this team. And mm. then we're able to do this thing that we had not been able to do in six months, in three weeks. And I've been able to reduce this. You have to be able to mm. speak tangible things. In business, this is not bragging. This is mm. laying out your That's work. fact. That's fact. A lot right, of people right, are not, okay. I, I see a lot of CVs, right? Mm -hmm. and they, they've done so many things, but mm -hmm. it's so poorly written and so scantily written. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I used to be the director of this. I used to be the. I used to write. These are not. You are not communicating. You know, we don't care about your your position. We want to know when you were a director. I did this. We went from having twenty percent of our clients being angry at our turnaround mm -hmm. to increasing mm -hmm. that, maybe reducing that to only five. That that is the that, that that's that's yeah yeah. yeah. So you that's reduce, how you get your next promotion. Yeah, you that's reduce you the number of job. angry people from twenty yep. to five. You did yep. so. I I I agree with that. Learn I agree to with communicate that. your your achievements in in a very. You have to learn to communicate success, and this is practice. Mm -hmm. This is practice. You have to learn to listen. People, me, I'm not a numbers guy. Oh, me, I'm not a numbers <laughs> everybody's listen, a numbers guy. <laughs> if you're not a numbers person, you're not going to succeed. Learn to. <laughs> Like productivity went up by this much when I took this much in desperation. Uh -huh. And then right there, your next mm -hmm. boss will be having a whiskey and will turn around and look at you and be like, you, meet me on Monday for your next job. That's yeah, how you yeah, get a job. Yeah, so yeah, yeah learn yeah, to communicate yeah. success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, before you go, I 
I read something that Jeff Bezos said about promotion. Mm -hmm. He said mm -hmm. he never really, he rarely promotes the smartest guy in the room. Mm -hmm. He promotes the guy that get Fair stuff enough. done. Mm. The guy that he able to communicate. Well, we moved, like what you're saying, we moved it from 20% of angry people to five. Mm. He got a job there. Right, he worked on the team. The guy that's able to let him know he mm -hmm. got result, result oriented. I'm a very result oriented guy. Don't mm -hmm. don't tell me whatever, right? But before um you go a uh, Mr. Bill said you should talk progressive stats. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kojo. Uh Rashid, Kojo said communicate value and creation. My favorite um words that you always it's value creation. Mm -hmm. Mm. That should be the, the thing, right? That will get, get us going. Mm -hmm. The whole word value creation. So mm -hmm. thanks, Rashid. I know Rashid is a smart guy. Communicate value and creation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You do that. Sustainability and transformation. Um, Jane said, good point, Kojo. Rashid, my style. Be punctual, dress appropriately. I'm engaged. I listen more. And speak less. Okay. And most importantly, I ask a question that no one is willing to ask. A difficult question. Mm. But, 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 guys, um, talking about difficult questions. Sometimes you, you, you got to read the room, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that go hand in hand with reading the room. Yep. Right. Yep. Mm. Yep. Some difficult yep. questions you can't. No, no. It, it's it's a no go. It's, it's not even you don't <laughs> have to ask it. You don't, you no, don't no. It, it, it's it, it's a no. It's a no go. It's a no go. Yeah. But back back to back to um mm -hmm. back to ay ay. Mm -hmm. I I still need I, I still need you to tell me how I do it and how you do it in social <laughs> setting versus climbing think, the corporate the climbing the corporate that, ladder, right? <laughs> The person right. that I had to answer the question. Wait, wait, wait. Said, How do you do it in a social <laughs> setting when you have a glass of uh, a tall glass of Long Island? How do you do it? How do you do that? <laughs> Honestly, right? I think I'm still, you know, I don't. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if I can make something work. Mm -hmm. So for me, I I most often look at the people I'm dealing with. So mm -hmm. if it's like I'm dealing with it, who is in charge of the promotions? Who mm -hmm. Who works with for me? I have a I have a theory that in every organization mm -hmm. or every group of people, mm -hmm. there's somebody that you know gets everything going. The person, mm. you know, the person will not necessarily be the boss. Most often it's the boss, but sometimes uh -huh. it's not the boss. Someone that can get things done, push people to do certain things, you oh. know, convince people. You the might fixer. not be in the you might not be in that position. If uh -huh. you figure who that person is. You look at the person mm. very well, study the person, and you look at some people would want you to be very detailed, talk about mm -hmm. that. Some people too want you to go straight, you know, mm -hmm. like that is what I think. Like, know who you are dealing with, identify the person that makes things move, and then connects with that person. And you know, if you know who the person is, you know what the person is expecting. You know how to move things. That's what I think. I have not been in a position where I've needed promotion or anything. So I'm mm -hmm. still learning from you guys, you know. So you you yeah. doing the social so thing in a, when in, you in, in a small settings or in you know, I just feel like everywhere you go, every organization you are, there's somebody somewhere. You have to figure out who that person is. Do you person... do you uh do you have to do, will you will you agree that sometimes in the social setting you have to do and I'm going to tell you guys a story. Uh, my former company, CFO, told me, um, do you agree that you got to do what you got to do to win, in, like in the social setting? Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you agree? If, anyway, yeah. I know Kojo agrees, right? Anyway, what I, do you think? Don't, I don't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why, extent, and why don't you agree? To some extent, right? Uh -huh. I feel like uh, regardless of whatever the hey, – you have to wait, okay. So, mm -hmm. is the win more important than, um, let's say, integ like your values? You know, sometimes you don't have to let go is... of certain things mm -hmm. because of a small win. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. you weigh it, right, mm -hmm. the win you are so desperate for doesn't hold that much weight than 
whatever you're letting go. Mm-hmm. I I look, I like to weigh two things. So whatever I'm trying to win or whatever I'm trying mm-hmm. to, you know, achieve, is it worth me doing whatever I have to do? Mm. No. Mm. Okay, I'm not doing it. I don't care what that win is. I'm uh, listening okay. and go. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you the story. So mm. I I had a conversation with a CFO, and he was telling us this story about um, business development done their job. They were trying to bring a whole network, like group of physician mm-hmm. groups and hospital. It was a health insurance, right? They were trying to bring them on board into the network. They've done everything. But the, the physician groups were being a little, I don't know if I can say greedy. They wanted a bigger share than what the network is offering, right? Mm-hmm. So he flew from Chicago to LA to go meet them. And then when he met their CFO, he picked, um, well, he, he had known like a little bit about his background, right? So he picked the right spot. But what really brought a multi-million dollar deal was over sake, the liquor, the uh-huh. Japanese liquor sake, right? Uh-huh. Our CFO didn't drink sake. He didn't. He was a whiskey guy. He didn't mess with sake. But this guy, his 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 whole thing was sake, right? So he's to him, he thinks that they connected over sake. Mm-hmm. Right, he let okay. his 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 ego go. <laughs> that oh, I'm a whiskey guy. Most guys tell you, I don't t- I don't touch vodka, right? Me, I don't. But if we have to close the deal, if I have to close the deal with Kojo, and all Kojo drinks in vodka, I don't think drinking vodka that night is gonna kill me, mm. <laughs> right? I'm never mm. allergic to it, mm. right? I'm not gonna sit and say no, I don't, because I think that you saying oh, I don't, it's you're a little proving that you're a little difficult to work with, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's it. But he said he sat that night and they finished a whole bottle of sake. And that's what impressed the dude, the other mm-hmm. CFO. And he, he let it, the greediness go. He signed it. He's like, yeah, I think we can work with that. I know we've been a little difficult, but we can work <laughs> with that. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So I think being in a social setting and reading mm-hmm. the room and doing what, like, sometimes you got to compromise. Mm. Right. I agree. So I agree, I, right? I, I'm going to say something anyway. I'm saying right. something about the, the winning thing. And I'll start with a story of my friend, right? So I have a friend. He's from Germany. His wife is American and she went to they went to Scotland for an exchange program. Mm-hmm. First night of exchange program. After class, they went to a pub. Then they were having an argument. Who can win in a foot race? The girl was like, I, I can win in a foot race. So they went, mm-hmm. lined up, and then the whistle went. And he lasered her, like left her like how the field. <laughs> just just room. <laughs> and the girl was like, that day she looked at him and she's like, That's my husband right there. And they're married. They've been married for like four years. And he's like, oh. just your ability, your desire to win. Mm-hmm. Just made the guy an ordinary guy she met at the bar. To this guy who would stop at nothing to win. Most mm-hmm. people would be like, ah, you know, it's just a game. What do I have to? Mm-hmm. I I I I think, and I could be very wrong. It's just my way of life. Winning mm-hmm. is one of the tools in the toolkit to me. Winning is just mm-hmm. like your ability mm-hmm. to communicate, your ability. Mm-hmm. I I mm-hmm. know some of my friends and people mm-hmm. who have done anything with me, any sport with me, mm-hmm. may not like any of me when we're doing any sport but whenever we go to a field and whenever they need to pick a team i'm probably going to be the first name they pick listen Mm -hmm. losing is is is, losing sucks oh yeah nobody like i I would do anything to avoid a loss right Mm -hmm. but for me the desire to win is non-negotiable I don't care what it is. We could be throwing pebbles at whatever. I, I don't care. But that desire cannot go away. And it, it it transcends almost everything. It's not just sports. It's not just it's not just academics. It's not just writing. It becomes your attitude, right? It, it becomes who you are. And and the truth is, and the truth is, I'd go into battle with 10 winners I hate uh-huh. and 
Losers, I love. Like, I would rather <laughs> be on the battlefield knowing these guys are going to do whatever it takes to win than people who... And so, and so for me, and, and I've seen it several times, and this is why a lot of companies do all these um, unit... Uh, or, um, what bond building exercises right mm-hmm. they go out there to play laser tag they go play golf and i'll yeah. tell you guys straight up like if you want to succeed in business if you want to be a good listen work on your golf work on your long game work a on lot your of game. Work billion on your dollar deals have been like, closed <laughs> on a golf course guys if you're going to come on a golf course with me and you're not going to do your best listen i'm going to smoke you i'm going to get the job like you have to it, it's it's imperative you have to have that winner's mentality to me it's a mentality and it's one of those things in a toolkit that you need to succeed in business and in networking right I told you something and I've mentioned it a couple of times in this show. Whenever you tell people you're going to do something, it's not always going to be easy. Whenever you tell someone, I'm going to make sure I get you this deal at five, it's not going to be easy. But to have that winner's mentality, that grit, to go through the fire, sometimes you'd bring whatever it is you promised and then just by doing that. Like, it's so key. So many people I I learn a lot from, I look up to, some of my mentors have told me this over and over again. It's not what you tell people you're going to do. It's your ability to do it. Like, it's your ability to follow through. And, And it's part of it. Winning, delivering, like... To me, when uh, and AY would tell you, they have something in in Ghana. They say, uh, I don't know if a grown form, right? Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. right. Yep, yep. Yeah. When when, when you go out with your friends to go buy play volleyball, and you tell Uh AY, listen, today we're going to win. You have Mm -hmm. to deliver that win. If it means Mm -hmm. crawling on broken glass to deliver the win, you've got to deliver that win. And the truth is, they may not like you during the time, but listen, everybody will want you in their corner because they know you're Mm -hmm. going to stop at nothing to deliver. And it's key in networking. You stop at nothing to deliver. Like it's, I don't know. But for me, winning is not negotiable. We can lose Mm -hmm. sometimes, but you can't Mm -hmm. ever, Mm -hmm. ever, accept not winning like that is not part of it <laughs> guys um that, that's 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 interesting but i think we've come to the end of the show and uh it's been an interesting conversation um let me rashid rashid uh if he has said something key be good at what you do it's embarrassing to be terrible at a position after using network vibes use a <laughs> network but make sure that people see you truly wait make sure the people but make sure that people see you truly know your your stuff your stuff mm. yep. i agree that's 100 okay mm-hmm. you cannot use your networking skills to get vibes. a job and then and be able to sleep <laughs> on the job <laughs> don't you, you're gonna get fired okay mm-hmm. and your image your image is everything. Your yep. reputation is yep. it's shot. Yeah, it's it's Mr. Bills, Mr. Bills, as much as you may be born with the ability to network, learning would definitely add new professional touches to the already God given skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, Practice. So if you're born with it, but then you don't want to learn, I'm, no, he's saying le- you can learn in addition to learn. having it. Yep. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, if you're not if you're not growing, you're dying, man. Mm-hmm. If you're not growing, you're dying. Uh, mm-hmm. Bella J, I think most people are shy at social events too. Few are actual social butterflies, so so don't ever think you're alone. Fake it, fake it till you make it. Yep. Fake yep. it just like other people are doing yep. it. Yep. Fake it till you make it, guys. Yeah. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Act like you've been there before. Been there. <laughs> yeah, superiors definitely love a, um, a can-do can attitude. Do oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Nobody wants, um, oh, I can't show this down, can't do it. No. Mm-hmm. Bye. Have a good day. AY, I think you have to use what you, ha- what you have to get how? what you to want. What you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's a tricky one. That's a, mm-hmm. well, depending on how you're I looking agree. at it. <laughs> <I agree. laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. does depend on where you're looking at yeah, it. Yeah, it depends on how you're looking. What you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, definitely. But, but that's yeah. a conversation for another day, guys. Another day. Uh, Michael. Oh, Michael is here. My, my best friend is here. Michael <laughs> says, who... Uh, know who you're dealing with and adapt to the best that you can when working for them. Mm. Adaptation. 
That's great. That's we a have great to one. Talk mm. about that. It's yeah. one of those that's, tools, man. That's, it's it. one of that's those one tools. tools. I think we 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 had a conversation. You go do electrical engineering doesn't mean you can't be a financial advisor or yep. a financial analyst. Mm -hmm. Okay, adapt, learn some, mm -hmm. listen more, talk less. Oh yeah, of mm -hmm. course. But sometimes, mm, I don't know. Michael, <laughs> Michael is back again. Uh, myself as an example, I study my leadings and work and work hard. Also in meetings, I spoke less but listened more. And was very calculated with my submission. Mm. That is a sneaky, smart person. Mm -hmm. I like that. You're right. <laughs> I used to write. So every meeting, I used to have my portfolio with me. Well, almost mm -hmm. everybody. But then I'll take bullet points. Mm. So when you're repeating something and you say something that they said, and it, it makes it makes it it makes them know you you mm -hmm. listen, right? Mm -hmm. You ain't just sitting there. You just not a number. You are listening. Yep. So Michael, mm -hmm. that's a great one. Rashid, nice, nice. Um, I said night. Nice example we see on the Japanese culture. Uh, you sometimes need to reach out to the person's values and appreciate mm. them. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta understand. Like they say, you go on the war, know your enemy. Yep. If and only if they don't conflict with your values. With your values. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. Like yeah. if I go on a meeting with Rashid and I know Rashid is a Muslim, he don't drink. I mean, it's just respect. I'm not going to offer mm -hmm. him whiskey. Mm -hmm. More whiskey for me anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I agree with that. Michael, to the extent that they will want to know my view on every discussion. Every discussion. Mm -hmm. for me. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Guys, yep. some of the smartest people in this world they carry a notepad or whatever. They write things down. Yep. I was told this when I was a little younger. Oh, Some of the smartest people in this world. Don't be arrogant. They all have good memory. I remember write things <laughs> write down. It down. Good memory. I'm telling write you. It down. Write no. it down. You'll be amazed. It helps yep. even your memory. Every It, mm -hmm. it, it helps. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Yep. You're human. Yep. Okay, I don't, I don't care how smart you think you are. You're human. Write things down. Mm. Okay. Can I uh, can I share one last game? Oh no, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And, and this yeah, would work. This would work in your networking, in your interviews, in in almost every setting, even in your social settings. Not so much in the social, but professional settings. Please, don't ever leave this meeting where you're asked. Do you have any questions for us? And I never say no. Please, you just shot yourself in the foot. <laughs> that is that is th that is you slamming the door in your face. Like after you, <laughs> play, I say, you, you talk to Barack Obama, you talk to Bill Gates, you talk, and he's done it. He's like, "Do you have any question for me?" They're like, mm. "No." That that is, I I always and now I I have made it a point whenever I talk to my students and I whenever I talk to younger people, I'm like. I always make it a point to ask, do you have any questions for me? And it's my way of weeding out the smart ones from the dumb ones. And mm -hmm. it, it's it's so true. It changes everything. <laughs> Please have a question. And it comes from listening and writing things down. If you're mm -hmm. listening, if you're writing things down, sometimes mm -hmm. you write something and you're not so clear on that. That is your time. That is your time to ask be, for clarification. Be like you Michael. mentioned something like this. What, what did it actually mean? It shows that you're paying attention. Yeah. It shows that you're yeah. taking note. It shows that you're worth pouring into. Everybody wants someone to pour into. AY said exactly. something the other day. Everybody wants to talk about themselves. They, they're not only talking about themselves. They want to pour into someone because some of the most yeah. rewarding things you can give people who have achieved, successful people, is uh -huh. the ability to pour into you. They, they are so full mm, of wisdom mm, that mm, if mm. you give yourself them the ability to pour into you, mm -hmm. they're going to pour and pour until you are very full. And so mm -hmm. never leave anything, a job interview. Listen, and for those of you going for a job interview, one of the questions you can ask, this is one you should always keep in your back pocket. After everything, ask basic things like, one, what does it feel like? Or what is it like to work in this place? They, they all work there. Sometimes mm -hmm. they all have been there. What's the culture mm -hmm. like? What does it feel like to work in this place? Another thing, and this is for when you're not feeling very happy about or so confident about how it went. Uh -huh. What would you be looking for in a candidate who is going to pass this interview, right? What are some of the things you guys are looking Always have some of these questions ready to go. In a social setting, in a, in, in, listen, oh my God. 
in, in a social networking and uh-huh. when when you're done with everything like do you have any questions for me you can ask so so when can i when would be a good time to shoot you an email to continue our discussion right mm-hmm. there you've opened the you're door they, so, listen shoot me an email in two days or shoot me an email tonight let me get yep, your contact yep. just ask something please don't ever leave without asking a question please <laughs> please and please again ask the question <laughs> and since uh, since since uh, we are dropping gems, uh, let me drop the last one. Mm. If if you're interviewing, right, especially in business or whatever, right, because you you're coming on and you you're supposed to create value, right? Mm-hmm. Ask them how do they make money, right? <laughs> and my my economics professor told me this back in school. He said, "Ask how." Do you make money by asking that you are shown interest in value creation because it's a business, right? Mm-hmm. How if you know how to make money, you can contribute to it. Mm-hmm. Don't just mm-hmm. sit and mm-hmm. just say, ask them. So how do you guys make, make money? money? How do you create value? That, that's okay, gold. that's golden. That's 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 it. That's right? golden. Uh, I'm can, going to yeah. add that to my questions. How yeah. do you make? That's golden. Yeah, because the goal. Mm-hmm. Right. What is a business? Mm-hmm. A business is solving a problem at a cost mm-hmm. for whoever you're solving the problem. Right. Mm-hmm. So if me and Kuju finds a problem in society that we create a business, the goal is what we are solving it to make money. Mm-hmm. So how do we make money by solving that problem? Mm-hmm. So you see, this is a problem and mm-hmm. this is how we're going to solve it. Mm. So that's a that's a good question that you should add that's dope, to um, that's dope. That's dope. to your world. but guys, um, I think we could keep going with the gems, but <laughs> let's let's wrap it up and pick it up, it up next Jay. week. Wrap it We're up. gonna pick it up next week. It's been a great show. Mm-hmm. Same usual suspect. I had Kojo here. <laughs> uh, Ay, when I say usual suspect, Ay does Ay Ay yeah. Ay is a <laughs> Grammy, Oscar winning mm-hmm. uh, artist, entrepreneur. Uh, mm-hmm. and she she's up yeah, there. Ay, we talked about how, how Ay network, right? Mm-hmm. She is uh, some of the things that work for Ay will work for you because Ay is um, Ay is a star. She's a star. She won awards, hey. right? So <laughs> if you haven't won awards, get a toolbox. <laughs> mm. And mm. use that toolbox to build your network. Because mm. as we've learned today, networking is not a skill. It needs skill sets. It needs a skill set. Mm-hmm. So get a toolbox. Kwajus dropped a lot of gems. Okay, just let us know. Ask questions on an interview. Mm-hmm. Don't sit there and say, Oh, I don't have any questions because you're so smart. You've told me everything and I've absorbed it, and I don't have any questions for you. Please don't do that. <laughs> that's a that's a no go. Red flag. Don't do that. In a social setting, when you have that tall, long island glass in your hand, still talk, communicate, ask effective questions. Okay. So we've learned that, and um, we're gonna pick it up next week with a brand new topic. Be- before guys, we go, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we go, everybody last words, Kojo and then AY, and then uh we'll go. Listen, whatever your skincare routine is, please write a book. Write a book or do a YouTube video. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 that skin oh, is oh, oh man. I was gonna I was gonna whatever it is. Whatever it is. Hey, hey guys, 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 before we go, drink your water mm. at least a gallon. That's and get like married, cute. okay. I learned. And get I learned married. how to get married. Bro, I didn't even know. I didn't even know there was something called mm. a face towel. Mm. I didn't even know it's for till I got married. Mm. Okay, I learned that from my wife. That okay. I used to use the same towel that I used to wipe my feet to wipe my face. Mm-mm. But it's a face towel. Okay, mm. take care of your skin. Drink more water. And uh, Ay, do you have any last words before we go? Um. Yeah, of course. I think what I'll say in relation to the topic, yeah, networking is not just getting contact. It's a relationship you build. Mm. You have to keep keep up with it. You don't just get a contact fact, and fact, then, oh, fact, I just have fact. the number of this person. No, have mm. some connection. Have a reason for the person to want to help you. Fact, yep. fact. Mm. Guys, thank you for tuning in. And um, 
I hope everybody have a great week. In the if you are in the comment section, we appreciate your comment from Roshi, Kojo, Kukwa, um, everybody. If I didn't mention your name, apologies. But I hope everybody have a great week. Yeah. May God bless you and your family and everybody you know. And from the Casa Tribe, what we say. Bye. 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 Bye.